CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thanks for being here. We begin this hour with a made in BC medical breakthrough, cracking the code of one of the deadliest forms of breast cancer. This will save thousands of lives, maybe millions. Not a cure, but for the more than 23,000 women and the small number of men who are diagnosed with breast cancer in Canada each year, it is reason for hope. Aaron Glazier has the story. This is indeed something uh, momentous. A team of BC scientists has decoded triple negative breast cancer. It accounts for 16% of all breast cancers and it kills one in every four women diagnosed. The triple negative cancers have currently been regarded as essentially all the same type of tumour, but it's really clear that they're not. Researchers say the data suggests that some cancers have fewer mutations and are more easily treatable. And that underscores the importance of personalizing cancer treatment so drugs target the genetic makeup of a particular tumor. These cancers are all at a very different stage of evolution at the time that they're diagnosed. Uh, and we believe that this may underpin some of the wide variations in response and behavior that we see. Doctors across the province are applauding the breakthrough, but they say a 35% drop in women getting mammograms has them worried. Concerned that people are not having screening and we're going to have cancer showing up five years from now, two to five years from now that we could have found earlier. Doctors blame a 2009 report suggesting routine mammograms were not necessary for women in their 40s and could be less frequent for women in their 50s. I'm telling women to start having screening at age 40 and ideally to come annually. Tracy Clayton was diagnosed at 36 and says early detection saved her life. You know your body better than anybody else and even if you're afraid of what that might mean, it's, I mean, it's far better to get earlier screening and diagnosis because then you have the opportunity to have less treatment. The further along you go, then you, don't, you lose options at that point. The numbers are scary. The Cancer Society says one in nine women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime and it will kill one out of every 29. And whether it's breast cancer or any other form of this deadly disease, you can show your support all month long by donating money towards life-saving research or by wearing one of these pins. It's a symbol that sort of shows people that are on a cancer journey or someone that have, has known someone that's on a cancer journey. Um, it's like a symbol of strength. And a symbol of hope for people with cancer in the fight for their life. Aaron Glazier joins us now live in the studio. Aaron, uh, the announcement today was in Vancouver, but it's going to benefit people across the province and the country, uh, and of course on Vancouver Island, uh, people being treated for breast cancer in Victoria. Hudson, the BC Cancer Agency's Victoria Centre is located right beside the Royal Jubilee Hospital. It saw 870 patients in the 2010-2011 year. That's either referred or seen. And again, if you look at the numbers, 16%, that is 139 people who are diagnosed with this extremely aggressive form of breast cancer, and it will greatly benefit uh, them from that breakthrough today. Absolutely. Aaron, thank you. You're welcome.